Guten Tag and welcome to another video here on German Tech Guys. This is just a quick teardown of the We Are Rewind WE001, a brand new portable cassette player with Bluetooth. I will be making a full review of this player at a later point. Now, there are a lot of rumors that this player isn't serviceable whatsoever, that you basically can't take it apart without destroying it, and I really wanted to try that out myself and actually managed to take it apart without destroying it. And in this video I'm going to show you how I did that. The most difficult thing is to get the cassette door off, and in order to do that you'll have to bend inwards these plastic clips. Let's start with the right one. You'll have to bend it past this plastic nose in order to unhook the right cassette door hinge. This can most easily be done by sticking a small flathead screwdriver in from the front. I personally didn't have success trying the same thing from the top. And let's unhook the left one. On the left side the plastic clip is getting caught on this small pin. And again this will be much easier to do from the front rather than from the top. And don't bother with the spring as I did, because it will just fall out by itself once you unhook the door. Now you'll have to undo four screws within the cassette compartment. For some reason there are five screw holes, but only four screws on my player at least. Um, maybe I'm missing a screw, but it didn't seem to be necessary anyway. But if yours did come with five screws, you'll obviously have to undo the bottom right one as well. Now you will need a plastic prying tool like this and you need to work your way around the seam on the back cover. Because I've previously opened this player this might be a little easier than it would be on yours if you are opening it up the first time. As you can see the belts are replaceable without doing any further disassembly. If you want to access the battery however, you'll have to undo these two screws in order to take the PCB out. In order to achieve a little bit more slack in the cables you should perhaps also undo this longer screw at the top. And now you can gently pull out the PCB but if needed you should probably take a plastic tool and not a screwdriver as I did. And now you can see the battery. I didn't want to take apart the player any further and therefore I'm not really sure whether you can take it out without pulling it apart any further and maybe desoldering something. Yeah, that is up for further investigation, but as someone on Reddit pointed out, this is an 18650 cell, so replacements should be easy to find. And in case you ever wondered what the hole on the back of the player is for, it is actually for adjusting the motor speed. So as you can see it is possible to open the WE001 up, which I'm really glad about because I can understand that people don't like the idea of buying an expensive product that they have to throw away in 5 years. And apart from the battery and maybe the belts, nothing is keeping this device from working in 30 years from now. Well maybe some gears will crack, you might never know, but yeah the battery will definitely go first and need replacement and it is good that you can actually replace it. I hope I could help you with this video and if you liked it leave a like and consider subscribing and I hope I'll see you in the next one.